I bought a zoo, Matt Damon says, sometimes all you need is 20 seconds of insane courage and I promise something great will come out of it. Now, while I know the context in the movie was different, I was thinking probably this is a good lesson for those among us who have a difficulty in saying no. I have learnt that if there is one word that is difficult to say in any language, it's the word no. This difficulty or disability knows no age, no gender. Most people haven't learned to use it effectively. And in this episode, that's what we will talk about. How to say no when you mean no. Hello to all my returning viewers. Thank you for staying with me. And those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Sheila and you're watching Lumia 24. Light on. Most of us have trouble saying no. And when that friend, co-worker, partner or parent asks us for something, we want to say no. But then our doma tendencies kick in and we end up doing the things against our will. Feeling ashamed, feeling resentful, feeling victimized and all those many splendored negative emotions. So, why can't we say no? As children, we were not allowed to say no to the adults around us. A no means normally a rebuke or labels of being rude or impolite. This has set itself in stone in our belief system. Secondly, we have never been taught to love ourselves. We are forever seeking outer validation. In schools, it's the A+. At home, it's trying to get parent approval. And this continues to be a pattern in adult life. We have a compulsion to be liked and to fit in. Then there is FOMO for some of us, the fear of missing out. The idea that everyone is doing it, this influences some people to leave their better judgment behind. Saying no brings forward another fear. Suddenly, you're seen as different and may become the subject of ridicule. And it's really tough to stay firm unless you have a huge base of self-esteem. And that is difficult for people even in their 40s, 50s or even 60s. Saying yes to everyone was stressful and it was definitely not good for my mental, physical or spiritual health. So believe me when I tell you that it's time you start saying no. No to the people you don't like. No to the parties you don't even fancy. And certainly no to activities that don't make you a better person. Like Matt Damon says, it takes only 20 seconds of insane courage. Now I know that you're a nice person and you just can't say no. But let me give you reasons why it's such an important muscle to develop. Number one, you owe nobody nothing. Really, you really owe nobody anything. I was speaking to one of my young coaches and he was complaining about how his boss calls him at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. And I asked him a simple question. Why would he pick up a call well past his office hours, especially especially since he's not a doctor or a fireman or a cop. He was installing solar panels for God's sake. And this is something we forget. Even if your boss pays you, you're not obligated to be at his call every single second of every workday. Yes, you're married to your life partner and you love him very much, but you're not obligated to be the subject of his whims every time. And of course, your parents raised you and still love you. But you're not supposed to bend your convictions just to suit their stereotypical beliefs. This is especially true for all those girls and the few boys who say that my parents are forcing me into marriage. They don't allow me to work. Number two, people will think what they want. If you're worried about what people will think about you, honey, you're way off course. Irrespective of what you do and what you say, People will judge you fairly or harshly. Don't sweat these small things. You cannot control other people's opinion. Number three, only you know your priorities. Your goals and your work have a greater impact on your life than on the ones of other people. If you concentrate on making yourself happy and successful by putting your needs first, you will have a greater impact on everyone around you. You will be the source of positivity and motivation for others. I believe that if everyone concentrated on their own goals, the world would be a much happier place. By saying no to people, 
you are giving yourself more time and more energy to concentrate on what makes you happy. Number four, you are the boss of your life and you are the person who is going to be most affected by your choices. Your happiness will be made up of the choices that you make in your life. If you say yes to a drunken party at 11 in the evening, you are the one who is going to have a massive hangover and a horde of angry clients the next day. If you say yes to a relationship that you are not really happy about, you are the one who is going to be trapped in it for a very long time. If you say yes too often, you might end up feeling overwhelmed, exhausted and inadequate. You won't have enough time or energy to take care of your own needs which will make you resentful towards the people that you said yes to. Saying no might be uncomfortable but it's a lesser evil in the long run. So here in my toolbox, I have a very simple tool to help you exercise your no muscle. I like to call this one the tweak. Next time someone asks you to do something and you want to say no, instead of saying I can't, just say I don't. The reason is this, I can't implies that you could do the task and it leaves room for people to push back. For example, when you say I can't go to the party tonight, that leaves a room for someone to respond with a why not. I don't on the other hand reclaims your authority over your actions. It's an iron clad refusal. I don't go to parties on weeknights. This is much more impactful than saying I can't go tonight. The phrase turns a rejection into an affirmation of how you live your life, making it powerful and something that you own. I don't is also a powerful tool that you can use when working towards your goals. If you incorporate it into your self-talk, it can increase your willpower. Simple, isn't it? And as with all things, practice makes perfect. So practice this tweak tool. Use I don't liberally. Feel empowered and powerful. Because you have to remember this. Whenever we say yes to something, we are saying no to something else. So focus on what you are saying yes to. When you say no to a friend who is tempting you to go binge drinking or try drugs, you are saying yes to sobriety, a clear mind and your physical and mental health. When you say no to unreasonable requests by your boss, you are saying yes to a healthier work culture and protecting your co-workers from similar requests. When you say no to your partner's unreasonable demands, you are saying yes to setting healthy boundaries and self-respect. When you are saying no to your desire to binge watch Netflix now instead of working on something more productive, you are saying yes to the future accomplishment and peace of mind. When you keep in mind the bigger picture and the ultimate goal, you won't need to feel any guilt for saying no because you know that no is necessary to get the bigger yes. It's your call. Live the life you want. Make your own destiny. It can start if you realize that it's okay to say no. If you need more help, reach out. Do share this video with your tribe. You never know who may need to hear this. Show some love. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Let's spread the light folks.